Howdy, my name is Dr. Daphne Lewis, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Let's take a tour of the classroom and get you started. Here's our classroom. I want to take a moment and walk you through our classroom. I want to show you what it is to be in BCIS 1305 in Blackboard. The first thing you'd like to do is go to southplainscollege.edu, log into your My SBC account, then click Blackboard. You will probably see a list of classes. Ours is listed as BCIS 1305. Once you do that, you'll come to this home page. Now, there's more here on the home page than just a colorful picture. Down here below are our announcements. There's a howdy announcement that I sent to you also an email. You should check your My SPC email regularly, at least a couple of times a week. And it also says test posted. We need to figure out what that is. Let's go back to home and then I'll take you on a tour of the navigation bar. Next, you'll see instructor course information. At the top is the official catalog listing of BCIS 1305 in the description. Next, you'll see an introduction by me. And here's a picture of my whole family. We're a large lot. I have five children. Timothy is my oldest. Christopher is my second son. Cassandra is my daughter. This is my husband, Donald. My son, that's the youngest one, is Spencer. He's a South Plains College student too. And here's Gabriella, my youngest. To be honest, all my children at one point in time have attended South Plains. Down here is a walkthrough of using Microsoft Office Suite 365 for students. That'll work for you for your home computers. Make sure to log in using your South Plains email account. Next, you'll see a way to connect to the virtual desktop at South Plains and a step-by-step -step through if you're a PC or a Mac user. And finally, down here is the course ID that we'll be using for my IT lab. But if you connect through our classroom, you shouldn't have to worry about course IDs. Next are questions for the instructor. This is a place to ask a question if you're not in a hurry. It shows you, um, you walk right in, you click on the title, and you go right in as if you um, were putting a post in a discussion board. If you have a question for me, you can click Create Thread, and then it will open a white space. You scroll down, you title, my question is, whatever your question is, maybe you have a question about um, Excel, and then please greet me and write a hundred words to clearly show me what your question is. And remember, other students can see this as well. Click submit when you're done. You don't want to discuss grades here. And if you want a quicker answer, well, my information to contact me right to my phone is there. Use it. All right, the next one is syllabus. Um, we have a syllabus following in a PDF download. Just click it and you can save it to your computer. Also know that there's a syllabus quiz coming up, so you want to make sure you read that and understand it. Our next link is learning modules. This is where we will go every single week, and we will have one set. So you want to make sure you come into South Plains, into Blackboard, and log in and understand what the expectations are for this week. Module is the same thing as chapter or lesson. We're going to click on the module one title, but look, there's an overview already of the course expectations. So I want to make sure that you know where we're at. You're supposed to explore this week. You're supposed to do a syllabus and a syllabus quiz this week. You're supposed to do a discussion this week, an assessment, and click on the module one title to take you to the module. You click in here and the overview is repeated. Then you have an explore. There's no grade for explore. It's just telling you explore and learn the classroom. Next is the syllabus quiz. You want to click on the syllabus quiz and you want to walk through it. It's just a multiple choice quiz. You'll say continue. And the first question is right here down below. It says, what is the acronym and initials and numbers for this course? Why we're BCIS 1305. And then you hit save the answer. See, it saved my answer. And then you click to the next question. Okay. 
Um, after doing that, you actually want to go back once you've completed your quiz and you've submitted it. You want to go back to our learning modules, which was here on the left, and you click on the title again because we still have a discussion assignment this week, which is asking you to introduce yourself to the class and it asks you a few questions to share. It also explains the discussion board expectations. Always greet your team members or your teammate or your instructor in the discussion board with a hello and a name. Write a hundred words discussing your response to the discussion board or to another student or instructor. And then finally sign your name. One worders and 40 characters or less don't work in a college discussion board. And then next is your module one assess. It's asking you to create a folder on your desktop, name that folder or on your C drive, and then take a picture of it. I want to walk you through that one real quick. Okay, so say we're at our desktop. You like our flowers? I'm going to right click on the desktop and then it gives me a pull down window. I happen to be working in Windows 10, but Windows 8 is awful similar. So is Windows 7. So I'm going to come down to new. I've right clicked on the desktop. You can do this inside a folder on your C drive or in documents. I'm going to click folder and the folder appears. Right now, the name new folder is highlighted. I'm going to type VCIS1305, and once I click off of that, my folder is made. I can move it wherever I like, and I can put my picture inside that folder that I'm going to take that proves I know how to do it. I am going to push print screen, P-R-T-S-C-R-N, and that took a picture of my desktop. Now, you can use PowerPoint or Word, whichever one you're more comfortable with. I'm going to bring up Word. And since I took that picture on my desktop, I just click in my Word document and go Control and the letter V. That's Control and the letter V. Oh, and look, it has a picture from earlier. How about that? Let's try again. I'm going to take a picture of my desktop. I push the PRTSCRN button, which is located on my computer above my number keys. It may be um, in a different location if you're on a desktop. If you're on a laptop, you may need to use the FN in the PRT screen. And then I'm going to bring up that Word document again. I'm going to go Control V, and there is a picture of my desktop, including my BCIS folder. I'm going to go File, Save As. I remember that this was um, this was the document for Module 1 Assess, and I'm going to put it in my BCIS folder. So I'm going to go ahead and call it M1 and my last name, which is Lewis, and I'm going to save it. And now I have something to upload inside Blackboard. So let's walk through that. I'm in Blackboard. I've done my Module 1 Assess, which was to create a folder and to name it and upload it. So now I'm going to write my submission. And I found that earlier, you actually have to write in here. Um, sometimes you don't have to in other settings. Um, but in our course, it seems that you have to make a submission. So here is my M1 Assess with screenshot and 1305 folder and I'm going to browse my computer. I need to know that I put it on my desktop in a BCIS folder, and there it is, module one with my last name. I double click it, I see that it's attached down here, and I scroll down and I hit submit. Now, I don't have a student account, so it's gonna come back an error probably here in a minute, but that's okay. I want you to know that you should now have a green arrow in your gradebook See, it's a submission not saved because I'm not a student. But I want you to know that you should have a green arrow in your gradebook now, and that should be the end of Module 1, except for your discussion board. Now, you can go to the discussion board here, Module 1, scroll down, and hit M1 Discuss. What I want you to do is read what the discussion requirements are. We already have a student who posted, and that's grand. I'm going to click Create Thread. And I'm going to say Module 1, um, Dr. Daphne Lewis's introduction. And then I'm going to write what I have to write right here. Okay. And um, then once I'm done, I should write my 100 plus words here. I should sign my name, and then I should hit Submit.
okay? So I want you to see what a discussion board looks like, and there it is. Here's my module one discussion board, and it's actually published, okay? We can't fix errors in the discussion board. If you forget and do a little one-liner, don't worry about it. Go back and redevelop that discussion board. My IT lab is where we will go next week. I do not expect anybody to buy anything yet, but we'll go next week and we'll hit into course content and that will lead us to our course and some of our online assignments. However, you always need to start in Blackboard. Um, I'm going to let you see a preview of what that looks like. Okay. And then next is my grades. This is for you, for you to see where your grades are and your expectations be. I hope this has been a good walkthrough for you. These other are South Plains College resources. I hope you find them helpful. But please, please know that I'd like you to reach out to me. You have signed up to be a student here, and I've signed up to be a st student success factor. I want to help your success. Have a great day, and let's get started.